Hi everyone, it's Aiden. Today I will share some advice with you on how to be more sustainable while being at home since we're all at home now and I mean we obviously spend a lot of time at home now but even in normal life when we were still going to school or work or whatever we would spend a lot of time at home so these tips are very important now but you can continue to do them in your normal daily life the biggest sustainable change you can make in your daily life is to reduce your meat intake and I can make many videos about this uh, explaining why this is important to reduce your ecological impact but I won't but uh, you can replace meat with chickpeas, lentils, kidney beans, legumes, let's say, and also soy proteins, tofu, corn or other fake meats. The second thing you can do to be more sustainable is waste less water by closing the tap when you don't use water anymore. So, of course you make your toothbrush wet before washing your teeth but while you wash them there's no need for the water to be running or the same thing when washing your hands of course you wet them or the soap but when you actually clean them with the soap and you do all those different techniques that we learn through the world health organization videos then the tap doesn't need to be running so just open it again with your wrist to wash the soap off but it doesn't need to be running all the time or also when you're sh washing your hair you wet yourselves but then when you are soaping yourself in or push putting the shampoo in the water doesn't need to be running so stop doing that and you will save many liters of water other things to waste less water is to recycle used water. For example, the water you use to cook your pasta or something else, you can give it to the plants because there's nothing harmful in there. There's no chemicals or anything. So like that, you can use it twice. And also, but this is a thing that of course your housemates have to agree with, is not flushing the toilet when you just pee the little or when you know someone else needs to go like that you don't waste less water another obvious thing you can do to be more sustainable is switch the lights off especially now with so much natural light coming in all day it's really unnecessary to have the lights on all the time i get it at evening when there's no light anymore but for example, I just saw my brother switching on the light while he had his curtains closed. So open the curtains and use the natural light instead of wasting electricity that you can just get for free from the sun. Isn't that great? So make use of it. Another obvious thing is, if that's a thing they do in your country, to waste your food correctly. Here in Belgium we have three different bins for paper, metal and like these drinking packages, for example milk or fruit juice and the rest of the waste that cannot be recycled. Like this you give a second life to many of your used things and it's just better than cutting up new trees to make paper again. They can just take the old one and recycle it. Of course, all the garden waste and food waste and so on, if you have that, I hope not, then you can compost it if you have the opportunity, if you have a garden or big balcony. But otherwise, you can also check your neighborhood for community gardens or so on, or maybe you have some neighbors that would like your compost because it's just a natural way of giving it back to the earth. So that's a nice thing to do if you can and to waste less food so you have less to compost is putting the leftovers in the fridge or even freezer there are many dishes that you can make a lot of and just store it in the freezer so you can just warm it up next time and this is a very practical way because you can just make a lot once now that we're all free and have time for it 
can cook a lot, put it in the freezer or fridge and then you eat for it during a lot of time. And this is also a good way to waste less food. And something else that is practical is put the food that perishes first in front of your fridge because like that you will take that first and also just keep an eye on what you have and when it expires and so on. Another easy change you can make is drinking tap water instead of plastic bottled water because I get when you are going somewhere it's practical to have those bottles already but we're at home anyhow now so you can use tap water and maybe it's already good like that where you are here in Brussels it isn't so we use a filter and it filters the water and it tastes better or we can just leave it and then the caulk I'm not sure if it's that but there is something that's a bit weird but it evaporates after a couple of hours so we can just leave it there and drink it a bit later so that's an easy switch you can make to waste less plastic something else we don't really think of is our modem for the wi-fi the tv and so on because we use it a lot of course now that we're also working from home and so on but at night i mean i don't know which working hours you have but usually at night you don't need it so you can switch it off like that you save energy that would have otherwise been used for hours for nothing because you don't use the Wi-Fi anyhow at night so that's an easy thing you can do as well to make a big change and I in the beginning you may not think of it or so on but you can put a reminder in your phone when you usually go to bed so like that you switch it off and then you go to bed thinking oh I've done such a good deed today and you will have the best nitrous of your life. Another tip is reduce your heating. Well now we don't really need that here because it's super warm but maybe where you live it's still cold but in general we have gotten used to have a really warm house and I mean that's fine but it's not really necessary, you could just put on an extra layer and reduce it a couple degrees. And like that, you also don't get that thermal shock whenever you go out and get in again because it feels like a sauna or outside feels like a freezer, depends. But this is also an easy way to waste less energy and therefore money. Something else the people that menstruate can do is using different types of menstruational products than the normal ones like the menstruation cup, washable and therefore reusable pads, uh, period products with decompostable plastic, period underwear. There are many many options and maybe I will also make a separate video about this one because there are a lot of choices and of course everyone is different uh, what feels right for me may not feel right for you, but you can just uh, find your own path in there and Since this is something that usually happens every month if you menstruate then you can have a really big impact in Changing your the products that you use another very easy thing you can do is use Ecosia as your browser because now we're all all day behind our computers using internet a lot so why not plant trees while doing your research I think this is a step everyone can take and make and do because it's something very easy and I mean you use internet anyhow so it's just a win 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 for everyone another thing you can substitute in your daily life are the laundry and plate detergents or skincare and makeup with an eco-friendly variation of that maybe vegan one or a refillable one I don't know there are many many options out there so you can just check it out in your usual supermarket and most normal size supermarkets will have an option for you and otherwise there is always internet shopping so 
that's an easy thing as well to change in your life and have a positive impact. Well, maybe not positive, but less negative impact. Let's keep it at that. For example, this is the laundry detergent that we use, which is from Deleuze, which has ingredients from plant-based origin and you can refill it instead of buying a new one with a new container and it also has the European Eco label. As we're all at home now we're probably decluttering everything and so on. So clothes that you don't wear anymore and maybe are too old, too ugly, I don't know, to give away or sell. You can recycle them as cloth to uh, clean your room or clean other things you will find a usage for it and like that they don't just go in a waste but you m take the most usage possible out of it and something related to that is if you have very clean old clothes you can use that cloth to uh, wash your face or remove your makeup instead of these cotton wipes. You can also wash that again and use it again. You can also buy a special um, extra soft cloth for your face if you don't have another cloth you can use. And like that you just reuse it all the time instead of using all these cotton wipes all the time. And the last advice of today is only use the toilet paper and kitchen paper that is necessary because I've seen a lot of people use so much paper that you take half a roll at a time I mean I don't know what you guys do on the toilet but in normal conditions that's very unnecessary or also the kitchen paper you can just use a cloth napkin and wash it and reuse it instead of at every meal having this paper one. So I hope I was able to inspire you to make these changes, maybe not all of them at the same time of course, but by gradually implementing these changes in your day-to-day -day life. And stay tuned for more videos about sustainability or maybe vegetarian vegan recipes and stuff like that and also many other things make sure to share this video with people for whom it may be interesting or useful to see this thank you for watching and take care of yourselves and everyone around you bye bye